the Love Elgin Day event triggered a series of major changes and significant transformations in my life. At the age of 17, I ended up committing an armed robbery and was convicted. While I was in prison, I did 13 years, but nine of those years was spent in solitary confinement. I was released from prison April this year at the age of 32. I got out, but the psychological pressures to make the necessary adjustments, I've been experiencing enormous strains, enormous stress. I showed up there, and I remember it was a beautiful day outside. I saw all these people gathering. They were in need. I didn't sense the spirit of condemnation. I didn't feel that I or others were being looked down upon. I felt that healing presence of God. I forgot all the intellectual arguments about, you know, the pros and cons of Christianity, whether I should accept it. No, I didn't, I didn't even look at it from that perspective. It was just something that goes deeper than intellect, something that touches your spirit. You just know intuitively this is right and exact. It was on that day that I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. That event triggered a process of learning to hunger for the Lord and to just feel like, Lord, without you, I don't want to breathe. Lord, I need you in every area of my life. I need your grace, I need your mercy, I need your spirit. Lord, put this in me. And I've been discovering the power of praise, the power of worship ever since that day. So that day hasn't just affected me for the past months, but it affects me for eternity. When I saw different denominations working together, motivated by a spirit of love, I didn't feel like this was religion at work. To see Christians not so much talking Christ, but demonstrating Christ, that's what affected me. There's no telling where I would have ended up or where I would have been today. It was God's will for me to experience that day, His perfect timing. 